so all the houses are done and they actually came out quite nice um i decided to go with three instead of the four just because it seemed way too cramped with four even though four would have been ideal i decided to kind of just make this corner over here a little bit more nature full by putting a big tree and stuff around um we actually only have people living in these two houses right here i haven't decided who's gonna live in that last one i have a choice of there's two families. There's one that has a newborn baby and one that the child's a bit older. I'm just not sure who to give it to. But in this first house here, who do we have? We have, ah, the fishing couple. If you guys remember, um, when we gave everybody our job, they actually met. Brogan and Kaylin met over at the docks and stuff. And I guess they really hit it off. And I decided this would be a good little starter home for them so it just has all their basic stuff they have their bedroom over here and stuff and their um, office and bathroom i think this will be perfect for them i hope they enjoy it and maybe they'll make a baby soon and look there is no shame in a woman being taller than a man that's all i have to say that's what they prove <laughs> over here um we have a family with um one of the girls that goes to school with riddle here we go so who's this? Oh, uh, we have Ellis uh, and Red. Uh, I'm the one that gave you this house. <laughs> and where is the mom? She's oh yeah, she's here. Aaliyah's over here. So it looks like they're still unpacking their stuff. So I'll leave them to it because they're gonna be busy in their new home. Um, what I did, they actually already had a house, but it was really small, so I gave it to another couple, and then they moved in this one. Uh, I know everything seems like it's going well and stuff right now, and it is, and everything is coming together, because I have this little plan in mind, and it's almost done, um, and uh, it's gonna be sad, but I know it's the right thing, and that's why it's making me happy, but I do need to speak to Kenneth and Echo, um, and talk to them about a couple of things, and see how it's, wait, um, wasn't that the girl? That was her, wasn't it? No way. How did she find me? Is that her? Oh my gosh, it is. Is she gonna tell everyone? Oh gosh, I don't need this right now. Um... You're not supposed to be here. Uh, it's good that it's good to see me, but I'm not that glad to see you, to be honest. Because, like I said, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I know, but I kind of followed. I gave you the axe so you could, you know, continue doing whatever it was you were doing. D do you want more money? Ah, uh, you know you can't tell anyone what you saw. That was the whole point of that little gift, you know? I know, I know. Chill, I just really liked your hair. What? What are you talking about? Are you okay? Yes. Why do people always ask me that? So how are you? <sighs> um. <sighs> there has to be something wrong with her. Um. I'm just really confused. And busy. And I can't. <laughs> you were kind of just throwing this thing into my whole plan. If I ask you to stay in this house. Will you listen to me? Maybe. I'm not kidding. Just please stay here. I'll come back for you. Just, I don't know, look around, watch TV. I don't know, but don't leave and don't open the door for anyone. I just, there's certain things I need to do. And I just need to make sure you don't tell anyone what you saw. You already said hello. So can you promise no opening the door, no going out? Okay. Got it. Stranger danger is the way. Yes. If you want to call it stranger danger, then so be it. Just go in there, have fun, and I'll be right back. Okay, please. Just go in there. <sighs> <sighs> okay, I had to go get a sword quickly. I really hope Remy stays there and that she... I don't think she's going to tell anyone. I kind of figure if I talk to her like a kid, maybe she'll listen to me. I hope so, but next part of the plan is to talk to Kenneth so hey Kenneth I wanted to talk to you again 
If it's to get mad again, I'm sorry. No, no, it's, n it's not to get mad at you again. Even though you did screw up several times in a big way. Big enough to have you fired. Some people might have even had you killed or something, you know? It's just... I've always liked you as a guard. And there's just... There's always been something about you. You have this... I don't know... Leadership quality, I guess, to you. And... That's exactly what I want you for. Why are you saying all this? I just... I need you to get it together. You need to become a stronger person. I know you could be a lot stronger. Everyone depends on you. You're the leader of all the guards, even without me saying it. I think they all know it. Wait, what? No, I'm not. You can. And you are. You you just need to believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. And I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. You're the one that's meant to lead all of these people. Why are you doing this? <laughs> You're asking a lot of questions today. I just need to know that I can count on you to take care of this village in regards to all the defenses and everything like that. Of course, I'll always try my best. I don't want you to just try. I want you to do your best. I know with you as a leader, the guards will be great. People might question my decision because of the mistakes that you made, but you need to help me prove them wrong. You need to prove that I made the right choice. I will not screw up again, and I will make you proud. I just ask that you take care of my family and every single person here as if they were your own. Not just to see them as other people that you need to take care of, but see them as your family and your friends, people that you really value. Put them first and always make the best decision for them. Yes, of course. Thank you for such a great honor. I'll make it official, I'll let everybody know, but thank you, Kenneth, and you're taking on a great responsibility, so make sure you do your job. Alright, now for Echo. I need to go get something for her, and I've had this little secret hideaway kind of thing for a long time around here somewhere. I hope it's still there. There's no reason it shouldn't be. Let's see... Here it is. Is it in this one? Ah, here we go. It's this. This is always my backup emergency in case anything ever went wrong. Um, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with my decision. I know a lot of people are going to be confused. But in my heart, I know I'm doing the right thing. I think people will notice it and realize it as time goes on. Maybe not right away. They might be angry, sad. However they might feel, but they'll understand. I hope it goes home. Uh, is she? Where is she? Could she be upstairs, maybe? Echo? Uh, where is she? Is she in her room? Oh, hey! I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Um... That's good. Ah, uh, so I know I'm just showing up to your house abruptly, but I had a little present for you. Really? What's the special occasion? Uh, I think it's just a little something you deserve for everything, you know? So, uh, here you go. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. You don't have to thank me. There's still more. How did you? Never mind. This is amazing. I'm glad you like it. Wow, are, are you sure you want to give me this? I mean, I can't accept this, no way. Just take it. Plus, you already have it in your hands, so you might as well keep it. Just take it as a Christmas present. This is more than just a Christmas present. Tell me the truth. Why are you giving me this? I just, I need you to be able to take care of yourself and maybe my kids. Why? You're scaring me. <laughs> Don't be. But you've become like a second mom to them. You, you were way more than just their teacher. You deserve to live a nice life and I know you'll be responsible. You've been for them, you've been there for them through some of the hardest times. When I wasn't there, you were. And you just deserve it. And like I said, I know you'll be more than responsible. Of course. 
I feel like I'm repeating what I said earlier to Kenneth, but promise me that my kids can always count on you, that they'll always have a second home with you. You shouldn't even have to ask. You you know that's already the case. Thank you, Echo, for everything. I need to go now. Wait, tell me what's wrong. I, I have to go. I was going to go talk to them, but they look so happy for once. They don't seem stressed out. I was going to tell them the truth about Taylor, but I think it's best to let them just enjoy this moment. I'd never really seen them together, all of them, just having fun. I think I'm just going to enjoy this for a little while longer, and I might head out for a little bit. <sighs> so I think I'm far away now. Where I could still see the village, but I'm not close enough to hurt anyone, I guess. Or get anyone hurt, or get anyone in the way of trouble. Maybe... Everybody would be better off if I was just gone. If I just left. <laughs> they looked so happy. You know that saying, I don't know how it goes, where it's like everything you, I touch breaks or whatever. I feel like that's me. <sighs> Maybe me being here and them being there is the best thing. I'm still not done doing what I need to do, but... I guess it's just something to think about.